Hey everybody, so I wanted to just come on here and do like a, a little small review for my um, Ancestry.com DNA results and I received the results back in January. I actually got it on my birthday. Um, it took about five months to get the results um, after I spent in this little tube, you know, mailed it off and um, I received it like as a, a Christmas gift and it's, you know, something that I've always, you know, wanted answers to because I've always known that I'm mixed, you know what I mean, with one black parent, one white parent, but it's like you, you don't know exactly like what you are you know what i mean and a lot of the other reviews that i've seen for the dna test um a lot of the people were told one thing and you know their results came back completely different so um i have to say like i was like kind of shocked and you know definitely didn't realize how mixed i am um but overall um, my dna results came back 48 percent african um, that is comprised primarily of the country of Mali at 19%. And that's actually the highest percentage of my DNA. Um, and I actually didn't know anything about Mali, but, you know, I did research on it since I got these results. And it was actually like a, a kingdom at one point back in the 1300s. It was run by this man named Mansa Musa. And Mansa Musa was like the richest man to ever walk the earth that's what they state um you know so it was it was a very thriving place at one point um it looks like you know the country has had some like wars and you know political things that have um kind of torn it apart a little bit um but you know it does show that you know molly is definitely overcoming their obstacles and you know i just read up on it just to you know see exactly where i come from and you know i, I feel honored to to be you know descended from a place like that um so yeah that's that's uh, the highest percentage of african so i'm also 15 percent nigerian um which is also pretty cool because I, I like Nigerians. I've I've met some, you know, here in the States and they're always like, you know, these friendly, happy people, you know. And um also Nigeria is like a thriving metropolis today, like currently. Um they have a lot of um, you know, wealth there. It's a it's a very nice city. Um I'm sorry, nice country uh these days. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um so my next percentage it um came as four percent ivory coast ghana and the ashanti tribe is what i've always known from that country um it's a tribe that's run by women um the women are like you know the leaders in ghana and um yeah i've, I've heard about that it's pretty cool to know that I'm descended from there as well. Um, then it came with 3% Africa Southeastern Bantu, which it states is primarily located in South Africa, Botswana, Mozambique, and Uganda. Um, so that's, that's pretty dope. Um, you know, that means that at one point, you know, some of my African ancestors um, weren't enslaved, um, you know, being, you know, located in that part of East Africa. So I, I think that's pretty cool to, you know, have um, DNA from both East and West Africa. Um, and so the next percentage would be 2% um, Cameroon, Congo. Um, I know some people from Congo actually here um, in the States too, and they're uh, very like, you know royal type of group of people and they they know how to party so that's pretty cool um also a two percent senegal um which is on the coast it's like the the most western country in the continent of africa um and then one percent africa south central hunter gatherers which would be uh primarily located in uh, south africa 
um, and then 1% Benin Togo, which I had also heard of um, is on the coast of West Africa. And um, a lot of the Haitian people that live in Haiti um, come from Benin Togo. And they also like were the originators of voodoo. You know, not I'm not into voodoo. <laughs> don't don't cast a spell on me. But no, nah, um, I've, I've just, you know, read up on that. And so also it came back with 1% African North. Now, this particular region got me because I've always had like a, you know, not a fascination, but like just a liking for like Egyptian culture. And, you know, that falls um, under that that category. Um, it's um, also Morocco, Western Sahara, Algeria and Libya. So that's pretty dope. You know, that means that. Um, whoever those people were um, were not attached to the slave trade so um, you know it's nice to know that I pretty much come from the entire continent of Africa um, now that's only 48% so we'll get to my European part um, which is primarily composed of 17% Great Britain I'm not terribly surprised about that because most people in America, even like African American people, have some like ounce of British in them. Um, so that that didn't really surprise me. But um, the um, Ancestry.com test actually s links my DNA to um, South Carolina settlers. So um, I guess the group of people that migrated from um, England in the 1700s came to South Carolina and those actual people are my ancestors so that's that's pretty cool um, and I forgot to mention that they um, had a migration as well for the African American side of my DNA and that's also uh, South Carolina and we all know how you know they got there but you know um, to go back to my European side I was really surprised about this next place, which is 16% Scandinavia. I'm still a little bit confused about that because Scandinavia is primarily located in Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. You could have never told me that that was in my blood um, at 16%. And so I think that that is so dope um, and it makes me want to like visit those places um the next area would be ireland scotland and wales at nine percent which i was told that that was actually primarily you know what i was so i've always like thought that i was like irish um because that is not the case i'm like really surprised by that you know nine percent i mean that's that's still you know more than one percent but it's not as high as you know I, I was told so that's that's pretty cool <laughs> but um that particular area also um was um settled in south carolina from ireland uh, so i have um ancestors that came from ireland they also went to south carolina in the 1700s i think that's so dope that this this thing like you know provides all this information um i i would suggest that everybody does it but um the next area um would be seven percent europe south which is primarily located in italy so i'm seven percent seven percent italian slash greek which i never would have guessed that at all um and i love italian food <laughs> so that's pretty dope to know that um that's in my dna too um so the next area would be uh two percent finland northwest russia which is insane like who's from finland you know but like that's in my blood as well so i you know read up on finland and you know um these areas you know are actually very um well to do as of as of current you know um they have like great healthcare systems and these places are like thriving they all you know are money makers and i, I just want to like visit these places so i can see you know exactly where i come from um so the next area um is actually less than one percent middle east which is primarily located in syria lebanon and israel this also was a shock to me because it you know kind of explains a little bit like I, my, my eyebrows are always like so thick especially when i was like a little boy 
and everybody used to like clown me um for two things they would you know call me like hispanic like you're you're you know from puerto rico and, duh, 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 and like i i didn't know if that could be the case or not you know so this test proved that like that's like not accurate at all and, like my whole life people have like always called me spanish or you know from south america or just some some type of latin um but i'm not even european latin so there's like not a drop of like any type of latino in me at all um so i think that's so crazy because like i've always been called like rico or suave and all this other stuff um but yeah um to know that i'm like middle eastern it actually probably explains my eyebrows a little bit because <laughs> i always like wonder like why are my eyebrows so like thick and then like my cousin used to clown me and like with your thick ass eyebrows you know and i was like kind of like self-conscious about that you know but um that explains to me you know where that where that comes from and so that actually would B, um, my DNA. So overall, I'm 48% African, um, 51% European, and less than 1% Middle Eastern. Um, so I would definitely suggest that if this is something that you want to do to, you know, learn more about yourself, to definitely get that test. Um, it wasn't that expensive. My, my sister actually purchased it for me. Uh, for Christmas, so I think she paid like 50 something like and got it on sale um, Again, it comes like with um, You know the migrations from your ancestors Which is also pretty cool to tell you exactly where they came to when they got to this country um, Also, you can like hire an expert and they'll tell you, you know um, Like which chromosome the DNA uh, consists of from what uh, parent like the mitochondrial DNA like a whole bunch of like stuff that um, you can you know pay extra for um, if you're interested in that but um, yeah um, I'm you know very satisfied with what I've received and you know definitely um, my African heritage and just knowing like you know what our ancestors went through um, you know coming here and just knowing that they overcame and um, you know, that that's just, it's really dope to me. And it's, it's dope to like, see like, you know, what percentage and exactly where in Africa, um, and where in Europe. So, um, yeah, I would suggest that everybody try to get that if you can.